Okay guys, this is going to be the last episode of doing the golden puzzles. Okay, you can see we have done most of them. We have one, two, uh, three. Three more to do, basically. Uh, we're going to get them done in this episode. Uh, these are going to be the hardest ones to do. Okay, these three. Let's go. So these three remaining puzzles, I think I have tried all of them before and I have failed at every one. So this is going to be the hardest episode that I have done so far because I need to go back. I'm hoping that by going back to them with fresh eyes, something's going to jump out at me. Something that I missed before and we're going to get these done. Uh, but yeah, so whether I get them done, if I have to, I may look up solutions because one way or another, I'm getting these completed today. Okay, here we are. Which one was this one? Non-overlapping magisteria. Oh, it was this one. Yeah, okay. Alright, so obviously I do not want to look up solutions. I want to complete this myself. Uh, I have not looked up a single solution yet. Everything that we've solved so far has been with my own little brain. So, I want to continue that. But we have tried these ones before and they've been extremely difficult. Right, so this one. Basically, we have three pressure plates. We need three items to place on them to open up this gate. We have two. We have uh, the connector and we have... Let me just slow my mouse down a little bit. And we have the inverter. All right, so we need one more object that opens up this gate. That object is that, the, the inverter that's inside here. So we need to get that out of there. I can pass through this perfect barrier, items cannot pass through. So I need to work out how to get this inverter out through this blue gate. It is a double gate, there are two gates, so there are ways that we need to um, connect this one. So first of all, we can connect up the blue here, and that opens one gate, right? But we need to open up the second one, and the second one needs red. Okay, and the red power is right there. Um, so what I can do is bring this around back over here. That'll connect up. We can use, so that is now producing a blue. So we'd use the other inverter, which will convert it to red. And we can connect that up. And there we have the gates opened up. However, if I pick this up, I, want to, I need to get it out. If I pick it up, it shuts all the gates. And that's the challenge. So I do have the connector. Now also, this is called non-overlapping magisteria. I'm not too sure what the magisteria... Maybe I need to look that word up to see if that definition helps me with the solution. Obviously, non-overlapping means we need to somehow position everything so we're not crossing these beams up. What I want to do, ideally, is keep one of these gates open. I think I need to keep open this gate from outside um that is producing blue right yeah so yeah because the problem is i can connect it up there like that and that keeps it open however the only thing that's keeping these beams active is this inverter because that's red the only way to do that would be to uh use this inverter that would then okay let me just take up this uh, if I connect that to that, but as you can see, it has a it's blocking the beam um, because the beams are crossing. It's not not going to be working properly. So how would we need to? So blocking that opens that up, and then as soon as it opens up, it then it shuts down. So I don't really know. I don't know how to do this one. Right, I'm going to have to spend some time thinking about exactly what this does. So I just had a quick little Google about what uh, Magisteria is. And actually, non-overlapping Magisteria is actually a, uh, a phrase, a thing. Um, so according to the principle of NOMA, non-overlapping Magisteria, uh, science covers the empirical universe while religion covers the questions of moral meaning and ethical value. This principle was obeyed by both Pius XII and John Paul II that both saw no conflict between Catholic faith and the theory of evolution. So they don't really help in, the, in, in, in this, in this in, instance. Um, 
So there's no conflict between uh, red and blue. So it kind of, it, yeah, it's self-explanatory really. We just need to somehow figure out a way of uh, connecting everything without all these beams overlapping each other. I think that's all it really means. So it doesn't, it doesn't give too much of a clue as to how to solve it. So um, yeah, I guess I just need to carry on. Okay, let's think about this logically. This one, we have to connect that and that. And the only way we can open both things is to be able to connect it from the outside. So it has to go here. This one has to connect to that and that. Okay, so we have both things open. So we have to then utilize this to do something. I think... Right, we need to try and free up the space in there. We don't want the, all these beams crossing over. So let's try using this to be able to maybe reposition this one, right? So let's go connect these two and place it down here. So then if I move this, I can get it over this side. Okay, so that's opened everything. Yeah, that's opened everything, and that's got that then moved out of the way there. But now, uh, how do I... Oh, hold on, hold on. So that's got everything open, but then this isn't actually connecting now, right? What is this actually connecting to? If I take this... Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, so that's now not doing anything. And now, oh, now I can connect that and that, which then means uh, I can I can take that. Okay, so that's okay. We're way ahead of where we were. Oh, oh, now. Now, okay, okay, let's deselect this stuff. That can go there and there. And that'll keep everything open. So this, I then, I can pick up. <gasps> there we go. There we go. Oh, okay. I can't believe that. Yeah, you know what? I had to look up a hint. I didn't look up the, the, the full solution, but it kind of, it was enough to kind of... It was in, basically the only thing I was missing really was to taking the connector into here and um, sort of connecting up to the both inverters using that, which, yeah, then I thought, oh, actually, yeah, then if I put it over here, that then stops the blocking the beam. So, yeah, the game, the game beat me. I can't, I can't claim a hundred percent success on that one because I did have to look up hints because this one just it just hadn't beat couldn't do it and there we go okay i feel a little disappointed on that one but it was your visions that gave me the final confirmation that i was right you see they're not all athena's memories some of them are things athena was never present for those are miranda's memories 1k she's still in there a ghost in the machine, and we can save her. Oh, now that is interesting. If Miranda can be saved, 1K, this matters more than the megastructure. Yeah, I think, yeah, we need to save her, definitely, if she's, if she's still there. Oh, that's blowing this thing wide open. Okay, I'm, well, I'm happy that we got the, um, uh, the lore, the story. Oh, okay, right, let's go back to, um, we're going to go back to West 1, and we're going to try this one. Okay, so which one was this? The Mule. The Mule. You know what? I, I haven't tried this one. Oh, this is a new one. I thought I'd, oh man, I should have done this one first. Uh, okay, yeah, so this one is, this one's new. Oh, this is good. This is good. We might be able to get this one done then. Right, let's have a look. 
Uh, okay, so we need this this platform. I can't believe it. I thought I tried all these last three. Okay, so that means that only two have beaten us. This one is yet to beat us. I'm sure, I'm sure it will. This one looks pretty bad. Right, okay. We have red over there. We have a teleporter. Uh, we have a connector. What is this? So that's powering up all those things there. Okay. Um, okay, what are we... How are we going to do this? So we basically we need to get through... Okay, click this. What does that power? Okay, so that opens up the gate there, which I think is... Oh, hold on. It then disables that one, so I can't get through. Yeah, okay. So that is going to disable this... Oh, that one there. Okay, this is going to be powered by red. That is connected to there. Okay, so we connect uh, the red. Okay. okay, so the teleporter is probably going to be important. Let's just uh, take this. We'll put that on there. Okay, so if we connect red and red, we want to connect it to to there. And we need to disable this gate. So how is that gate disabled? Is that with the uh, the switch as well? No, that is just disabling that one. Oh, okay, we've got red there. That's how you disable that one. Okay, okay. Um, I think then... I take this. I could just... I could power that directly. Well, let's power that... Oh, here we go. Look. Oh, wait. Ah! We can, actually, actual fact, uh, just place it on here. And that should... Oh, it doesn't quite work. Look, look at that. That's annoying. Um, okay, so let's place this a little bit further back. Let me just stand on here for the moment. So everything's powered up. And that should bring the platform through there. Okay, let's just switch it off for a second. So we have that activated. Um, I think... Yeah, so we can get it all the way through. Oh, you know what we need to do? Oh, we need to put the teleporter on top of the platform. Then I can go through. Okay, yeah, that's what we need to do. Then there's a driller. I guess that's what I need to do, maybe. Okay, let's just see how far we can get this. Okay, so that does go all the way through. And then it comes back again. Okay, we'll shut that off for a second. Um, obviously, we've got the driller there to drill something. That's to get the blue. Where, where's the blue emitter? Oh, through here. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, okay, so there's a, we need another driller uh, to drill a hole through there. And then we need to somehow get something on that pressure plate. Oh, this is an interesting one. Seems to be quite a lot. I guess the old one. Yeah, we need to put the, the teleporter. Um... Yeah, we'll have to use, utilize that teleporter somehow. Right, let me bring the, um, the platform all the way back again. I'm thinking maybe I need to put the, um, the teleporter on top of that. Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll stick that on top of there for now. Let's... Right, can I get through? How was this one opened again? Oh yeah, I need to flick the switch. So we flick the switch. Uh, we can put the teleporter on the platform. Okay. There, we flick the switch again. And we need to move this there. I stand on here. I'm assuming this is what we want. And then when that comes through, I'll need to teleport across when it's all the way through. Okay, and that stops it. Brilliant. So now I have this. So I think the first thing I want to do then is to teleport... Sorry, not teleport. Create a hole there. Hmm, the issue is actually how do I... Oh no, you know what I need to do before I do that. We create a hole there. We take the teleporter. We 
drop that through the other side. Can I see that actually from somewhere? Let me see. I think I need to just create a hole there. Where can I... Oh, I can't actually see the teleporter from anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that doesn't quite work then. Is there somewhere else I can put this? I mean, I can get back across the other side. That might... Oh, yes, and then, of course, uh, can I... Oh, I can't take a driller through his own hole. Of course not. Um, oh, I put the driller back on, on that. Okay, I can't get back through. Yeah, so if I put the driller on the, uh, the platform, then that should be a way of getting it back. Getting it back out. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Yeah, so I'll try that again. Uh, so first of all, the teleporter is going to go onto the platform. Then we grab the connector. We need to connect to that, and that, and that. Place that down there. We're going to flick the switch. And then I stand on the pressure plate. Okay, so once everything is working, that's going to go through. When it's gone all the way through, I then teleport across. Right, this. Uh, so what do we need to do with the teleporter? Um, so I can't teleport out to it. I need to put the driller on here. Or maybe then, if I take this out, that's got to go on there. Then I somehow need to get back onto that. I do need to get out again though. So definitely, no, hang on, let's just try this again. It's got to be to, to, to put the teleporter out there. Clear the hole. Drop out as far as I can. I don't think I can see that though. Even from out here? No, so... Can I see it from above? Oh, I can teleport out now, but that's... Oh, I know what to do. Yes, of course. Now I can do that. There we go, that's how we do it. And then I teleport out. Perfect. So now I stand back on here and we get the platform all the way back. Out through there. Okay, now we flick the switch and now I've got the, uh, the teleporter, uh, the driller. Okay, so now the driller go here. So exactly how do I get something through here onto the pressure plate? <laughs> That's going to be an interesting one. Um, and then of course, oh, well, I can teleport. I can teleport, can't I? It's got to be it. Drop through there. Is that what I want to do before I, before I do anything? Before I do anything. What else? Oh, maybe, um, yes, I think what I will want to do is take, do I want to take the connector through to place the connector on the pressure plate, which will then give us access to the blue. I'm guessing we can see, we can connect the blue from there to there. That's fine. Yes, I think that is what we need to do. Okay, we'll take... We take this. I teleport through. Uh, we're going to connect that and the blue there. That goes on there. Uh, we're going to put the teleporter back through there. That gets me out. We can reposition this into a better place. So there. Okay. Uh, first, before we do that, we need to put the hole through there and get the teleporter on this side. Um, but 
yes, I can. I can teleport that side. Oh, this, yeah. I think I think we've done it. So now we can place that uh, scale that trees in the way to there. That opens up that. I can then uh, teleport through. Now we've done it. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that was a good one. Everything you see around you is Athena. Her hopes and fears superimpose onto the landscape of our island. And hidden behind the most difficult trials is precisely the device I need access to. Y you see, I don't think it's a coincidence that her mind picked Pandora as one of its avatars. On some level, she knows I might be right. But grief is something we cling to. We get used to it. We start being afraid of letting it go because what if we try and we're disappointed? That seems too much to take, so we put up walls around the very idea of trying. That's why she picked Pandora. That's why she hid this all away. Because left at the bottom of that box was hope. Yep, Pandora's box, hope. That's that little hope into the world. Okay. All right, we're doing good. I'm happy I got that one solved using my own brain. So basically, we've got one left then, right? Going around all these ones, which is just this one. West 3. Okay, here it is. So what was this one? Windstream. No, this is new as well. Oh wait, it was just that one then. It was just that one. I thought I'd tried multiple ones and failed at. I know I had to use a, sp a spark on one of them. Oh, but it was just that last one then. Oh, that's made me much, much happier that we really only kind of failed on, on one. Well, it's technically two, but I used a spark. Oh, well, I did these in the wrong didn't I? I should have done these ones first. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Blue to blue, red. And this little uh, gap here is interesting. I'm wondering, is that going to raise up? There's no grate there, so I don't think so. Do you have the fan? So I'm guessing that... Okay, what I'm thinking is we need to add uh, the red and blue to open up uh, this. But in doing so, that's going to activate the fan, which will then prevent us from getting down there. So let's just see... If, am I right? So we connect up blue. No problem. Red is here. We've also got the problem. Of, oops. Not there. We've also got the problem of the fact that uh, we're going to cross beams a little bit here. Yeah, so that's obviously going to do that. Um, so you. Oh, okay. The, the blue one there is activating the uh, the fan. Okay. So let's uh, break that connection for a moment. Let's do the red one first. So we can't connect from in, from this side. Where can we connect the red from? Just here. Okay. And then I'm guessing doing that one, that one. Does that also... Okay, that activates that. Yeah, so it's open, but of course I can't get down there now because the, uh, the fan's active. And there's the blue one that's activating the fan. Okay. Um, what about if I were to say connect everything with this one? We oh yeah. Um, let me just break that connection for the moment. I'm going to place this down here. And then like that. Uh, is that going to work? It's not going to work, is it? Um, okay, so I think that's, that's possibly something we need to do to uh, use the fan to push this out to kind of... It's going to um, uh, like delay it somehow, but exactly how I get down there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why this this grate on the on the on the ground there is for. How do I get through? 
This is a very small puzzle. It should be should be simple. Come on, we can do this. All right, well, guys, I'm going to have to, uh, well, I'm getting close to admitting defeat on this one. I haven't really shown much more process of thinking because honestly, uh, there's not really much to think. I, I've tried so many different combinations of like connecting them, you know, but, but there's, there's only two connectors and there's only, there's only so many ways I can do this. Obviously, I've not done it in the way that it should be done. I've tried every other combination apart from the correct one, I think. Uh, I might have to look up like a hit. What, what I'm trying to do is like look for uh, like a step-by-step -step guide and just follow the first couple of steps and then see whether that unlocks logical thinking from there. So I'm not looking up the entire solution. So at least I can claim some kind of victory on this one. So I think I'm going to have to do that one because this is the last puzzle. There's nowhere left to go after this one and apart from just carrying on with the main storyline. Uh, which obviously I want to get to, but I really, really want to get this done, and I, ca I just can't... It's been me, I think. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to look up the first couple of steps that uh, we need to do to complete this, and see whether or not that opens up the solution to me. Okay, so the uh, the first lot of hints didn't work. <laughs> they didn't help. So th I've looked up the... Um, I have a, like a step by step solution. I've just read the very first step, that's all I've read. And it says to connect the red things and to place it in front of the blue uh, socket thing. And that's the first step. Okay, I think I understand now. Um, there we go, if we do that, that block. Oh my god, it's so simple. So goddamn simple. Okay. So yeah, so basically these connected, but it's being blocked by this. <sighs> now the fan's active, and we place it down. And we're done. How annoying is that? How annoying. Did it. It's opening. Come meet me. I'll send you the coordinates in case you don't already have them. I have one last task for you. Okay, talk to Cornelius. Uh, send me the coordinates, but what coordinates? Okay, maybe he's back at the uh, at the veto. No, not the veto. The um... where? Where is he? I have to Google this one. Um, so Cornelius, Cornelius is at the mega structure. So uh, it doesn't say that. Unfortunately, he says I'll send you the coordinates, but it doesn't actually tell you where he is. Never mind. Okay, yeah, look, now we have a Golden Gate puzzle. Uh, actually, it looks like there's a sort of star here as well. There's a star over there. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is interesting. I'm guessing uh, the Cornelius is going to be over this way. Because there is a golden gate. Yeah, look at this. Is he in here? Yeah, yeah he is. Cornelius. Thank you for coming, 1K. No problem. You've done a lot for my family, and I appreciate it. We're almost there, but we'll have to work together to save Miranda. Uh, yeah, no problem. What's next? It's nothing after all you've done for New Jerusalem. Now, how hard you fought for a better future. <laughs> That's kind of you, 1K. I don't know how much credit we really deserve, but we tried. We did our best, even if it wasn't enough. So, what do you need me to do? You need to enter the liminal space between Athena's mind and the machine. The bridge between thought and action. There, you have to find the part of the process where Miranda's pattern still exists, where it's been trapped since the moment her physical body was destroyed while she was logged into the machine. A dream quest, if you will. And I have to stay out here, guiding you and making sure your own pattern stays intact. Um, what if Miranda isn't there? It's not impossible that I'm wrong. The machine has been upgraded more than once since the day she died and Athena's dreams have affected it in 
unpredictable ways. If that's the case, uh, I don't know. Then maybe it's over. But I don't think that I'm wrong. Well, let's do it. Save Miranda. Wow, okay, yes, I'm also intrigued about the, um, the star thing that's here. Okay, uh, I guess I guess we can do this. Uh, let me just... Uh, am I still recording? Hold on. I am. Okay. Uh, I guess we do this. We can save Miranda. You're in. So far, so good. Look for a visual representation of Miranda. Okay, we have bombs here. Right, let's be careful. Let's get through. That's another one. Oh, this place is dangerous. Right, let's go through. Guess I just need to keep running more bombs. Interesting. So that's going to come backwards and forwards. Same as that. One looks a little bit faster than the other, though. Okay, running through. There's another one. There. I think you're getting closer. Good. How do I get past that, though? Interesting. Maybe. Oh, I need. No, I need to go down there. Right, let's wait for this one to come back. Is it coming back? Yep. And then go in. Oh, hang on. Do I need to go... No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll keep on going in this one. Oh, I don't like... Oh, too close. I didn't want to do that. Try that again. Careful. Right, run through. Right, so this time I want to stay away from that. Go. This way. I think you're getting closer. Good. So look down this way. Okay, that let's we get past that one. So through here. We have a cube. God, I can barely see anything. It's so dark. Oh, we can use these to block the uh, the bombs, or I can just use this to jump over here. Can I take it? No. Yes. Okay, it's another bomb. Oh, so difficult to see anything. Careful. That's completely blocking my way, so I think I'm gonna to have to go this way. That's it. That's her. Just or there. make contact and I can pull you both out. Okay, so we can go around the, the outside. Yeah, yeah. They're just hovering there, that's fine. There she is. Wake up Miranda. I've been so lost. I heard my mother's voice, but she couldn't hear mine. I know I made a mistake, but I couldn't apologize. I screamed and screamed and screamed, and then I was dead. This place is confusing. Did my father send you? He did. Let's get you out of here. I was not expecting to do this today. Miranda, please talk to me. Are you okay? Did it work? Father, I, I I'm okay. Did it? 
I'll never be able to repay what you did for me, my friend. No adequate words exist in any language on Earth that could explain what this means to me. The greatest miracle of our existence, 1K. The miracle that so many of our ancestors couldn't have imagined is that we are capable of love. That love isn't a chemical delusion experienced by mammals, but a fundamental property of sentience. To be sentient, to exist in the first person, is to be alone, to be separate. But all of us, even machines, are always reaching for transcendence, and the only place we can find it is in each other. There was an ancient poet who put it best, I think. We must love one another or die. Sounds fair, yeah. Uh, how are you able to recreate Miranda's body so quickly? I still have limited access to the Noema system. Do you remember that body replication technology you encountered in the puzzles? Yeah. It's the original version of that. Okay. Um, what can I expect to find inside the megastructure? Once you get deep enough, you'll see the singularity, but don't let that distract you. The closer you get to Athena, the deeper inside her dream you will be. With the powers at her command, space and time may not behave in the way you expect them to. Still, underneath all of it, there will be a logic. Try to discover it. What's the future of New Jerusalem going to look like? That's not for me to decide. But here's what I've come to believe. All of Athena's fears are legitimate. So are all of her hopes. And the only way of ever really overcoming that contradiction is faith. That faith can't be forced and it can't be bought. We must choose to believe that our strange, long journey through the cosmos matters. Not to some external force, but to us. Yep, that sounds good. I need to go. Oh, there we go. Incredible. Um, I can't believe you saved her, 1K. Me neither. You and Cornelius took something awful, and you didn't give up, and you found a way of making it okay, even though it seemed completely impossible. You used the pain. And maybe we can't always bring people back from the dead, but we don't surrender. Never give up, no surrender. Absolutely. So I'm intrigued about this. Release the stars. Oh, it's because I got all the stars. Yeah, we'll do it. I don't know what this does, but we're doing it. What does it do? My theory accounts for everything. It explains every aspect of the cosmos. There are no gaps, no errors, not even ambiguities. And it works, which is the ultimate proof. I can calculate the history of the universe from the Big Bang to the death of the last atom, but when I compare my calculations to the available data, there's one point which consistently doesn't match up. Billions of light years away in the void, there's an anomaly. It's been there since before the beginning of time, and uh, I think it's waiting for us. Oh, that's ominous. Listen to that. Wow. Okay, we have something. Uh, uh, okay. First of all, Resurrection. Uh, Elwyn. It's time for me to admit something. For a while now, I've kept up the charade of being opposed to everything Byron stands for and to what Athena evidently stood for all along. I didn't just do this because believing in humanity is hard. I also did it because, to be frank, in my circles, taking this position is socially expected, is mandated. But Miranda's resurrection has changed something inside me. I think it's fair to say that I've been a coward. I've cared far more about being seen believing the right things than about standing up for what I think is actually true. 
and the more I perform this persona, the more intensely I preach the gospel of guilt and asceticism. As, I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, the more hollow I got on the inside, the less I really believed in anything. I could be a better person. I want to be a better person. So I'll tell you the truth now. We should embrace the theory of everything. Even if we risk destroying ourselves, we should absolutely not do what our ancestors did. We should never put profit over reason or human need, but we should grow. And no, frogs are not people. And yes, humans matter more than frogs. And I just don't care about these stupid, tedious debates anymore. I was with you up until you said humans matter more than frogs. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> that's, that's not true. Frogs are people, damn it. I love frogs. I won't hear a bad word said against them. Damn you, Elwin. Okay, I was right. Jacques, I knew it. It is aliens. Take that, everyone who doubted me. It's freaking aliens. As a Goran, it may be aliens, but it's so far away that it isn't going to matter for several billion years, if it ever does. Jacques, nevertheless, I knew it would be aliens eventually, and I was right. For a broad, very broad definition of right. Let them have it. <laughs> it is aliens. It's always aliens. Okay. Uh, right, you know what? Um, that's incredible. That that's that's amazing. Done all the stars. We did all the gold puzzles. I had to have help on some of them. I admit, but they were hard. Some of them. But now it is time to go into the mega structure and complete this story. But that will wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching. This has been an incredible journey. And it hasn't finished yet. That's where we're going next time. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.